Welcome back to another video. You're probably familiar with the racing line if you've been sim racing for a while. It is of course the fastest way to get around a circuit. Sadly, in a ton of cases, the fastest racing line is not always as obvious as you might think it is. That's why we'll discuss the fundamentals of the racing line, how to find it, and we'll analyze how much of a difference it can make using the Track Titan platform. You can analyze your own driving for free on TrackTitan.io. We're not talking about the suggested in-game racing line today, but the fastest way to get around the corner. But there are a lot of different corners which all require a ton of different approaches. So we adjust our racing line based on each corner type. The main thing you've got to keep in mind about racing lines is grip. Your car needs to have enough grip to be able to turn through the corner. This means that the more you turn your steering wheel, the more you've got to slow down and that's what racing lines are generally about. Minimizing your steering input to maximize your cornering speed. One way we can do this is by turning through the corner with the widest radius possible. When we check out this hairpin at Suzuka, we can really see the difference. A ton of beginners aim for the inside of the corner early on, then coast around the apex and get on the power to exit the corner. The thinking here is that the shortest distance around the corner is also the fastest. But when we analyze this approach with the Track Titan platform, we might come to a different conclusion. We can see the orange driver is diving to the inside early, while the faster blue reference lap is sticking to the outside longer. When we analyze the speed chart, we can see that the orange driver has to slow down a lot more to get their car around the corner, losing them almost half a second in this corner alone. You can analyze your own driving and find mistakes like these on the Track Titan platform for free. Now that we know the basics of the racing line, let's figure out how we can find the best approaches. First, we'll divide the corner up into three segments. The entry, the apex and the exit. After the initial braking phase, we want to start turning in gradually, especially in heavier GT cars. During this turning phase, we want to reach our maximum steering angle when we hit the apex. After passing the apex, we want to maximize our exit speed in the following sector. We can do this by gradually steering the car back into a straight line and getting back on full power without losing any grip. In this example, we used a symmetrical racing line. The curve of the racing line is the same on the entry as on the exit. But when you're racing, you want to slightly adjust your racing line to favor a faster, straighter exit. By turning in slightly later and hitting a later apex, you can get a straighter exit. This allows you to accelerate earlier and gives you a speed advantage throughout the following segment. Sadly, not every corner is symmetrical and every turn requires its own approach. That's why we've got some key points for you to keep in mind when dealing with different kinds of corners. When the corner has a heavy braking zone, try to break deep into the corner as straight as possible. This shortens your braking distance, which means you'll have a time advantage before you're even halfway through the corner. But this doesn't mean you should sacrifice your exit. What comes after a corner influences your racing line greatly, as you always want to optimize your exit. Chicanes are a great example of this. They're practically two corners glued together. But in a chicane, you want to sacrifice the exit of that first corner to optimize the exit of the second corner, so that you'll exit the corner complex in the fastest way possible. Curbs are also important to take into consideration when it comes to planning out your racing line. Some curbs you can cut, which allow you to have a beautiful wide line through the corner, but others can utterly destroy your car and send you flying. It's important to know which curbs are safe when you're planning out your racing lines. So practice these before you try out some special tactics during your races. Now we hope you've learned something about racing lines today. Let us know in the comments below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.